What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie. Today, I have my March favorites for you. I am back home in LA. Oh, my time in Tokyo just flew by. I was honestly really sad to go, but um, it's been really fun going over all the footage and stuff. There are gonna be a lot of vlogs coming your way. I hope y'all are okay with like, I, I, I need to figure it out actually today how many vlogs are gonna be. There's gonna be at least five more. <laughs> so let me know if that's okay with you because um, I really had to split them up because my first one, I hope y'all already seen that. It was over 30 minutes and it was only the first day, but it's because I did a very thorough tour of my Airbnb along with like, you know, some of the stuff that I brought along with me. So that's why it, that took a, you know, good 15 minutes to show y'all all that stuff. But yeah, back home in LA now, excited to get all that footage out to ya. Let's talk about some products that I've been really feeling. Like always, we got skincare, we got makeup, we got jewelry, we got clothing. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right. Let's get started. Let's start this video off with makeup because the two skincare products I'm gonna talk about are nighttime skincare. So, the primer that I have been freaking loving is this new Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. On Sephora.com it says, this is a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for all day hydration and hold. So as an oily person, when you hear like hydration within the title of a product, you're not necessarily thinking that it is good for oil control, but that is not the case with this guy right here. It is a very different primer than, um, I, mean, I don't know, man, any primer I've ever, ever used. So let's talk about like first the texture. So it comes out and it looks like it might be a silky product, but it actually is quite a sticky product. And I've definitely used some sticky <laughs> primers before. You put it on your face, it makes your face kind of feel a little bit gross and it starts to pill after you apply it. So the first time I put this on my face, I was like, uh, this feels like a little bit weird. It feels like it's gonna start pilling, but that doesn't happen at all. It has this little bit of a pull to it when you're putting it on the skin. So I kind of try and just like pat it on first and then rub it in kind of lightly. It like just grips the skin and then it grips the makeup afterwards. This is the primer that I used the entire time while I was in Japan. I didn't bring this bottle. I actually had like a little travel bottle that I ended up pumping um, this into and it lasted me the entire time. And it just really holds onto that makeup and I feel like my skin looks so smooth and it really helps smooth out the pores and everything and prepares the skin for makeup. I feel like this is a mattifying primer. It does help keep the oils under control, but it doesn't dry out the skin. So you know, sometimes you put on a mattifying primer and you put some concealer on and it just looks like it's just sticking to those areas where the primer, maybe there's a little bit more primer there. Like that doesn't happen with this one. I'm just confused what they did with this, to be honest, because I feel like this is probably gonna be good for any skin type. It just really helps the makeup stick to your face, so there's a lot of longevity involved. I really have nothing bad to say about this primer. It's great. If you're just in the market for a new primer, you wanna find something that helps you have a little bit of longevity, helps the makeup look good on the face, I would say go for this one. If you watch my Get Ready With Me in Tokyo, you already know what is partially on my eyes right now. This is the Super Goop Shimmer Shade SPF 30 in Sunset. I was so happy to partner with Super Goop in that video because I absolutely love this product. This video, by the way, not sponsored at all. I'm just talking about it because I love it. And I was talking about it in that other video because I really love it. To me, this product is really like the first of its kind. It is a cream eyeshadow with SPF 30. Apparently, 10 to 15% of skin cancer is diagnosed through the eyelids. Like, I talked about this in that video. I put sunscreen on my face every day, but I don't put it on my eyelids. Like, it's not a place that I would think to put sunscreen. But of course, so if you're like, you put sunscreen everywhere else and then you like miss out on this little tiny area. And honestly, like, I don't really like wearing sunglasses all the time. So I'm not really shading my eyes all the time. So this is such a great product. Um, today, I used it as a base. So in the previous video, 
you. I just use it straight up. Today I use it as a base, so I just applied it all over the top lid. Um, you know, it comes in also two other colors, so if you want full coverage on the entire eye, you could do a sheer sweep of the gold or silver toned eyeshadows that they came out with all the way up to the brow bone, but today I didn't go all the way up with this. I just use it as a nice base on the eyelid, and it just, it really can be used on its own. Besides the fact that this has SPF in it, this is just a great standalone cream eyeshadow. I don't necessarily have a lot of luck with cream eyeshadows, to be honest. Sometimes they, you know, you're trying to spread it on your eyelid and it gets caught up in the eyelid skin and then it gets a little like streaky looking or you're trying to blend it out. Some cream eyeshadows, when they dry down, they're like done and you can't even spread it around at all. This one, I feel like it dries down to almost a powder consistency. So even as it's dried, you can spread it around and really thin it out and just make it look very seamless and blended. Um, but today with this one, because I'm trying out these new um, Pat McGrath Sex Drover Idol Eyeshadows. I'm not sure this is a brand new product by Pat McGrath, but this is brand new to me, these individuals, which I'm really happy that Pat McGrath is coming out with these because um, I know that the palettes can be quite pricey. So now you can get these individual colors by Pat McGrath and that's definitely what I like because in terms of a palette, I typically like, you know, two, three colors of a palette, but then the palette can be like this big. So it's really nice that she came out with some nice individual ones. So today I just blended this on top. It's actually a really great pair. Um, I think Sextrovert is the name of this uh, color and I just blended it up threw it all over the eyelid. And I feel like the cream eyeshadow underneath the powder just really bumped up the color. I did not need to use that much eyeshadow at all because I obviously had a darker base underneath there already. And I also put it on the lower lash line and it's just such an easy look. Like literally just do things to create this really beautiful, really blended out smoky eye. Y'all know I like what I like. I'm very simple when it comes to eye looks. I First of all, I just don't know how to do a lot of things. Like I don't know how to do a cut crease or anything like that, but I like to keep it simple anyways. I like my makeup, especially my eye makeup, to be as quick as possible. I want it to be as blended out as possible. Sometimes it doesn't really go that way, but if you can use really good products that make that easier for you, then I'm just gonna advocate for that. So yeah, I really, really love the shimmer shades. They're such a great product. And uh, I guess I'm throwing this in. Is this not part of the favorites? Because I literally just, got this a couple days ago, but so far, loving these uh, Pat McGrath singles as well. On my lips, I have really come back to a color that I loved right when it came out. This is the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo in Influencer. Again, I know I keep talking about this, but when I went to Japan, I only brought a few things. I brought this, I brought like a Dior gloss, my NARS Power Matte, so I was really wearing this color a lot. This is just a really easy to use, straightforward nude. I'm not super neat when it comes to applying this product. And by the way, this is my second too because I, my first one was pretty grubby. I had used up a lot of it, so I decided to open up a new one. I kinda just go ahead, throw it on the bottom lip, like uh, smash my lips together, maybe try and form up top a little bit, but I do this color on the go all the time. Like I don't even look in a mirror sometimes when I apply this product. It is um, a nice kind of like sheer into opaque formula. So if you do it like that, you do one sweep, one sweep, you can kind of rub it out <laughs> and just get a nice, kind of sheer color with a little bit of gloss to it, or you can apply more and make it quite opaque. It is a like moisturizing kind of formula. I would think that's like a good descriptor of this product. Um, it doesn't start drying down, doesn't get caught up in any dry lines or skin in your lips. Um, it doesn't dry out your lips at all, because a lot of these like moisturizing products, after a couple hours, then your lips are just like, oh, dying of thirst. This one, actually wears nicely. I really need to look into more colors in this line because I remember when it came out, I really liked it. it. Must have been at least two, maybe two and a half years ago. I'm not sure. It's just, it's a really great line of products. And also Hourglass is a company, I've just found out some things about them recently that are really awesome and I would love to support them more. Um, they donate 1% of all their profits from their website to the Non-Human Rights Project. They're doing a lot of things behind the scenes that like we don't even know about. 
And I think that's awesome, especially like, you know, I think that they should be telling everybody all these cool things that they're doing, but they're pretty low key about it. Um, and I really respect a company who wants to give back and like do good in the world, you know? So yeah, anyways, hourglass is tight. I love them. All right, y'all, skincare time. So we have two items here. First one is the Ul Henriksen Glow 2.0. I feel like that's what they're trying to do with that. A uh, dark spot toner. This toner has glycolic and lactic acids, which help to even skin tone and texture and reduce the appearance of dark spots. I know I've talked about this multiple times before, but as I've gotten older, uh, whenever I get a breakout, even if I don't mess with it, don't touch it at all, it leaves this little dark spot that just lingers and lingers. So I've been using more products with alpha hydroxyl acids, right? to help break that skin down, break down those dark spots. I started using this product at least a couple months ago, three months ago. I did bring this with me uh, to Tokyo as well. Put it in a little bottle because I didn't want to bring the whole thing. I think in my first Japan vlog, there are a couple comments about the medicine cabinet situation, about how much stuff I brought, but it all fit into a little, not a little, it all fit into a skincare bag, you know? I think when it was all spread out in the medicine cabinet, it looks like a lot, but like the Q-tips were there before and the bottom section, like a whole part of it is like a little makeup bag. I brought everything I needed, okay? I can't skimp out on my skincare just because I'm traveling. I was there, I was gone for like three weeks, okay? So anyways, <laughs> getting really off course here. I put it onto um, like a disposable little cotton round and I just do a little, little bit and wipe it all over my face or I wipe it kind of more where I feel like my skin needs it. Right now, huh, knock on wood, my skin is looking pretty, pretty good, pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty, 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 Why? pretty good. Not sure what's happening right now, but I am just going with it. And that's why I'm sticking with the products that have made my face happy. Um, I just put this all over my face. And you know, right when I first started using it, I really did see a difference in some of the dark spots that I had around here. Cause for a while I was having all these bumpy issues around here and then they were like leaving little spots. Cause also I was messing with them. Um, but I feel like this is definitely like a very kind of more straight to the point, like not really sexy kind of product to use for those kind of things. Like I feel like Ulla Henriksen in general has been really good on my skin. I've been using a lot of their products and since I've been using their products, my skin has been happy. It's been like Ulla Henriksen, um, Drunk Elephant. There's like a handful of companies that I've been really putting into the rotation and my skin's been very happy. Actually, I just got the um, Drunk Elephant baby facial. I've never used that. I've heard so much about it, so I'm so excited to try it out. I think I'm so scatterbrained in this video because I like kind of chugged a bunch of coffee, which I typically don't just drink it like that, but it was already really cooled down and I was kind of thirsty. So I chugged it and now it's like kicking in right now. But okay, this is a great toner. If you're looking to reduce some dark spots, you're trying to just like get your skin looking nice. <laughs> Look at this toner, look into it. Oh my gosh. I've been sitting on this leg. It is so asleep right now. Also, very rare occasion for me to be wearing pants in a video. <laughs> do you see this? I, why am I sitting on my leg like that? I always do this during videos. And then I, oh, I'm like, oh, I only have two more things to talk about or something. I'm like, so I just sit through the pain and I just try to ignore it but I, now I'm sitting comfortably in my fine. Okay, so last couple of things we're gonna talk about. First off, let's talk about this new Pearson that I got. Um, shoot, don't remember what this piercing is called. I'm sure 90% of y'all out there automatically know what this piercing is called and you're gonna call me out in the comments. Go ahead and do that. Um, I got this pierced actually at a rare day, which was awesome. Um, I would say in terms of pain, this particular piercing, very low on the pain meter because it kind of reminded me of when I got my septum pierced. A lot of people ask me like, does that hurt? Septum pierce definitely was definitely more painful than this one, but it's like through cartilage in your nose. It's not like 
going through like a really meaty part of your ear. You're just kind of going through the cartilage. So I think the most like weird disturbing thing about it is that you hear it go like, like pop through the cartilage. Um, but yeah, not a painful piercing at all. And I have this really cute Amarillo piercing in it. Obviously S for Stephanie, S for Soothing Sister, S for Smarty Pant. <laughs> I really like the piercing. It is actually little baby diamonds, which is sick. If you're looking for a 2019 treat yourself moment, this could be it. And it just fits really nicely in there. Um, you know, I got this pierced a day before leaving for Japan and I really immediately was like, am I gonna regret this? Because traveling right after getting a piercing like this, so you can't really sleep on it too well. I would say there was at least two weeks of having to be like quite careful about being on this side of my head. Uh, and I'm still being careful with it obviously and I'm still cleaning it and I'm using the that orange dial soap to, to wash it and make sure everything uh, is sanitary and not getting infected. But in terms of the healing process, way faster than like, so I got um, these two outer little baby ones Pierce. I already had two piercings in my ears and then I got like two more to line up to make these three little studs Which now I need to I want to like maybe trade them out for Three little hoops. I thought maybe that would be cute. Let me know if you think that's a good idea So it might be three little hoops there um, but those the middle one especially Just healed like it took a long time for these to heal um, it was pretty pussy and gross for a while. And I think it's because they're pierced so, so close together. So it just takes, it's it, it was just more like stressed out in that area. But this one up here, doing great, really easy. I really love the piercing. It fits really beautifully within that space. So I don't think I'm gonna be changing that up anytime soon, but definitely a fave. And now I'm like, what else do I wanna get pierced? Okay, so I'm thinking, maybe something up here because I have nothing like up top. So maybe get like a couple up here or I don't know. There's so many possibilities in the ears. There's so many like little like crevices and stuff to get in. But I maybe like something up here or I don't know. I definitely want to get something more down here. You know, so I got like my regular ear piercings my mom did it when I was like a baby, so um, I don't remember those ones at all. Then I got an extra one with my sister. I think I was like in sixth grade or something. That was a huge deal too because my sister had been wanting it for so long, begging my mom. Finally, I wanna say like after a year, my mom was like, okay. And then we went to like Claire's or something and then my mom was like, oh, Stephanie, do you want it? <laughs> My sister was so pissed, but I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I got that and then I got another one down the line. And of course, none of them are even because we went to Claire's and they use a, a gun. Do not ever trust anybody with a piercing gun, by the way. Please go to a professional who does it with a needle. Guns can like tear your skin. It is not sanitary. Do, don't do it. Please don't do it. But anyways, yeah, so nothing is even, even the main lobe ones I have, I think that this one, or one is lower than the other. So when I wear like small hoops, you can really tell. But you know, whatever. I like the whole trend now where everybody's getting all these like different piercings that are close together or, you know, doing it in a little triangle formation or something. Like I honestly wish I had just more lobe space to be able to do those things. But um, yeah, definitely gonna get more piercing soon. Let me know what you think I should get. And you should definitely check out the Amarillo website. I personally know the women who own that business. I'm always down to support a local business a local female owned business, of course. So yeah, check them out. Talking about female owned businesses. Wow, that was such a good segue. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, my last favorite of this month, and actually has been of the previous month, is this jacket that I'm wearing today. Check it. This is a jacket from the latest 
eggy collection. I'm so happy I can finally show y'all this jacket because I've had it for so long. I was in the campaign for this collection with Jen. It was with Sophia, Whaley, we had Francis, Ellen. We were all in Palm Springs shooting this collection. Um, it was so much freaking fun. But this is definitely my favorite piece, maybe of all, no, that's hard. I was gonna say of all time eggy, but that like blazer dress that I wear all the time, that's up there too. So maybe the, these are my two favorite pieces uh, ever perhaps, but I love this jacket. I absolutely love this color. It is like a sandy desert color. I love all the little details on it as well. We got these cool straps. The zips are really nice. Whenever I go out, um, I just put my wallet and my lipstick in here. And then, well typically I'm wearing jeans with it, so I put my phone in my jeans, but like I don't bring a bag out all the time when I'm wearing this jacket. I think it's great thrown over anything. Like right now I just have a little uh, little sweater cami thing on. I wear it with jeans. I've worn it with like a little skirt situation. So there's also matching pants, which I think I need to get my hands on because I don't have those. And I would love to wear that together as an outfit. But yeah, if you're looking for a really great jacket to throw on like everything, that is super sick looking, it's on the website, it's on there. You should definitely go and grab it before it's too late. All right, y'all, that is it for this very long favorites. Thanks for watching this far along. Um, the next couple weeks are gonna be really fun. I am actually driving up to Portland and Seattle with Saguno and his girlfriend, Mia. We are doing a little trip because Saguno is DJing in Seattle first and then Portland. It's during Coachella weekend and just decided to do that instead, so I'm gonna be heading up the Pacific Northwest. I might be vlogging that. Let me know if you want me to vlog that. Otherwise, there are a ton of other vlogs coming your way, so many Tokyo vlogs, so keep your eyes peeled for that. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I really love y'all. If you enjoy me blabbing on and on in this video and you haven't subscribed yet, what do you have to lose? There's a lot more fun videos coming your way. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.